I got a scholarship, a, a prize called the Hutchinson Prize, which allowed me to take to study music, and I did with Milton Babbitt, who is, uh, and even then was the avant-gardist avant-garde uh, composer, but yes. who had a particular interest and has a particular interest in show music and jazz. God, imagine getting to work with a guy like and, that. And, uh, and what we did was, which was wonderful, we would spend the first hour dissecting De Silva Brown and Henderson, and the next three hours dissecting Beethoven. So and you've got both sides. Exactly. You've got, you've got and everything. his point was that the compositional techniques are exactly the same, whether you're writing a three minute piece or an hour piece. And they are. And we would, I, I, I can still, I, I taught at Oxford a few years ago, and I repeated, and I remembered it so well his analysis of all the things you are, which is, you know, some of Kern's forms are extraordinary, and that may be the only song in which the tonic is never stated until Do the last chord. Do you play that tune? Do you uh, play I, that? I used to, I, I, but I don't anymore, and, uh, and his harmony is so subtle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. You know, he's, he's one of the few guys who makes a distinction between the kind of vamp that goes... and the kind that goes... Gosh. Whether you have the seventh, uh, whether you have the third in the bass or the fifth in the bass, that's the kind of thing he does, and that's what Milton kept pointing out to me. So I wouldn't play it. But if you study all the things you are, it starts in the relative minor, ends up in the major, but it never states the, the tonic. I never knew that. Key. Let me just play sure, about please. ten bars. Pl uh, pl play all of it, please. Great tune, but you know it's a regular A A B A form, and only only in passing does it. Uh, I learned it in uh, A flat. That's the only time, and even there, you've got the seventh in it. But everything else, and it's also a circle of fifths. But the fifths break when he does the tritone, and it's the defining tritone of the keys coming from the keys going to it. It goes on and on. And I asked Milton, I said, "You mean he thought of all these things while he's writing this? What seems like a you know a tune that that that, that just comes out of nowhere?" Just falls in. Yeah. Uh, he said, "No." He said, "It's like learning to drive a stick shift car. You get the technique, and it's in you forever and ever. Once you've learned the technique, you are applying it." All the time. I remember I, I was uh, uh, talking to Dick Rogers about uh, people who say we're in love, and I said, you know, it's so wonderful the way the release of that is the inversion of the main tune, you know. Uh, uh, don't throw a case of me, da, da, and, the and the release goes, dump, da, 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 da. And he I said, never thought of he that. never thought of it himself. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry you told me. <laughs> but you see, it was innate. I mean, because it came, it came from inside. It's, it's the inversion. Da, ba, ba. And the inversion it. Da 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 da. It just turns it upside down. Amazing. And abs absolutely. And uh, these things then become a kind of second nature. Although Oscar told me, Hammerstein, because you know he wrote a lot with Curran, including all the things you are, that he would be sitting in a room writing a lyric, and in the in the next room he'd hear. Somebody, I'm 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 obviously making this up, but this is the idea. go through every conceivable note, and once he'd decide on that one, he'd go on to the next one. So these tunes wow. that sound as if they were written, you know, in a breath, mm -hmm. where it's, it's like E.B. White's writing. It sounds so simple, but it takes him three days to compose a paragraph.